And what ends up developing is this, 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 this self-perpetuating cycle of anger and shame. The shame leads to more anger, and well, there you're angry again, and now there's more shame. So that's one part of things. You know, the second part of things is, well, wait a second, you know, there is, anger is not a bad emotion. You know, we all have anger. In fact, you know, anger, the function of anger, what it really is trying to help us sort out is there is some sort of injustice in the world. There's something wrong with the way things are. And as a powerful motivator to change, you know, we need to have anger in order to make a difference in this world. You, know, you, take, you take figures like, you know, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, you know, Martin Luther King Jr. You know, these people are not lily white flimsy jello people. I mean, they have a passion, and that passion of wanting to make the world a better place was very much rooted in anger. But they weren't rageful, they weren't furious. You know, there was there was there was a finesse in being able to to use anger, to notice anger, to know it's there as a compass, to lead them towards the values that they that they stood for, and ultimately were able to make a huge difference in the in the in the world at large. So we don't want to get rid of anger because it's telling us something. Something's not right. So in working with, with uh, folks coming in with this issue, there's actually a lot to be said for their anger that is pointing them in, in, a, in a life direction that has meaning and that they really do need to sort out and discover and figure out. Because it's real. But at the same time, not, not allowing the anger to so overwhelm and, and, and uh, uh, control the person to such an extent that they're, they're burning the bridges of life, that they're, they're, they're ruining the relationships that are the thing that is so meaningful they're trying to run after and grab onto. So whether it's through emotional regulation skill development, whether it's through clarifying values and coming up with practical plans of how to achieve those things, or whether it's working on, maybe these angers are also rooted in a in, 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 uh, person's history, the family they grew up in. Whatever the work's going to look like, that target is going to be, that target is going to be focusing, grabbing onto those values, taking seriously the anger and trying to redu reduce that shame and, and break out of this vicious cycle, this vicious loop that's, that's keeping a person stuck. So that anger isn't something that they're terrified of being overcome by, but is actually one emotion of many that's a companion of life, that's leading you in a direction that, you, that develops who you are and is able to actualize the dreams you have that are worth actualizing.